It is a Labor Day tradition. The Little Italy Festival will take place this weekend in Clinton. It's a tradition that celebrates the city's culture while also bringing in lots of money for local businesses. News 10's Caitlin Hunt is in Clinton with more. This weekend, Clinton will be the place to get your slice of Italian culture thanks to the Little Italy Festival. But organizers tell me this event is meant to celebrate all of the immigrants who decided to call this area home. In just a few days, thousands of people will descend upon Clinton for the Little Italy Festival. It's been taking place for over 50 years, and the festival's board president, Adria Davis, says it was originally meant to honor all of the Italian immigrants that came to the area, but it has since turned into a celebration of all immigrants. It was started by a lot of the immigrants that were Italian, but up um, at our immigrant square fountain, it has 32 flags there of different nationalities. So it wasn't just Italian, it was lots of others. While the festival is meant to celebrate the immigrants, it doesn't hurt that it helps the city economically. Davis says a lot of local restaurants get most of their money during the festival, and Clinton's mayor Jack Gilfoy says he can see the economic boost from the festival as well. Restaurants, uh, they're busy. Um, you know, people come here, they get gas. Uh, they, it's just great for us. Festivities kick off Friday and go through Monday. Visitors can take in a parade, ride a few carnival rides, and sample some Italian food. There will also be music and other events like grape stomping. And while Clinton may be turning into a small Italian town this weekend, Davis says the festival is really about celebrating what it means to be a Clintonian. Most of us that love this and are involved in some way or another have, you know, their heritage start from Clinton, so... It's just like an annual reunion. Events will be going on all weekend, and to see a full schedule, visit our website. In Clinton, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.